Beneath a sky studded with constellations unknown to modern eyes, Inanna, the moon goddess of ancient Mesopotamia, descended. Her silver light washed over the ziggurat of Ur, a beacon of earthly aspiration reaching for the celestial. Inside, Nita, a young priestess selected not for her unwavering faith but for her simmering doubts, waited with bated breath. The goddess, veiled in a cloak of night, made her proposition. Question me Nita, test my power, challenge my wisdom, find the flaw in my divinity and the fate of Ur hangs in the balance. Fear warred with Nita's curiosity, yet, fueled by the whispers of doubt, she began. She dared to question the divine, her voice echoing in the ancient chamber. Why do we toil for your favor, yet suffer floods and droughts? She asked. Inanna, her voice resonating with the wisdom of ages, responded, Nature is not a toy, Nita, it tests, punishes, and rewards. My role is not to control, but to guide. Unyielding, Nita pressed on. Why do you demand sacrifices are offerings more valuable than the lives they represent? Inanna's form shimmered. Life and death are part of a grander design. What seems cruel is but a thread in the cosmic tapestry. As dawn approached, Nita, exhausted but enlightened, had no definitive answers. Yet, she understood. Doubt wasn't the enemy, but the crucible that forged true faith. It wasn't the absence of questions, but the courage to ask them, that brought one closer to the divine. As the goddess vanished, Nita emerged from the ziggurat, no longer just a priestess, but a bridge between humanity and the heavens. The encounter had forever changed her, sparking a shift in the religious tradition of Mesopotamia. It was no longer about blind obedience but about the courage to question. The story doesn't end there. Nita's journey could continue, exploring how she navigates her new role, faces challenges within the community, or even embarks on further intellectual explorations. The possibilities are as vast and important as the Mesopotamian religious tradition itself.